Yeah. So, hey, peeps. Currently, I don't have a name for this read, but, you know, it's whatever. Right now, we got some goals that we need to meet. We need to, you know, have some triumphs, but, you know. I don't know. Is it taking place or is it not? <laughs> right. Because only you can handle yourself. This is a process where... Or a goal that only you yourself can hinder if you don't um, pursue it properly. Because you can pursue a, a goal all you want to, but if you're not taking the proper logical steps and in the correct order, then guess what? If you're all out of sequence, then nothing's going to, it's not going to be accomplished. If you're out of sequence, your goal will not be accomplished, right? You have to follow the proper steps. Do everything in the proper way at the proper time with the proper guidance in order to complete this goal. And that's what I'm hearing. That that's what needs to take place with you. Because only you're going to hinder yourself, right? Only you're going to hinder yourself. Only you're going to stop yourself. And currently, a cool-off period needs to happen. Like right now. A cool-off period needs to happen right now. Right? Because... But at the end of the day, your vibrations are too low to make any type of lasting changes. You're not going to make any changes because your vibe is entirely too low. And so what you got to do is come up with your vibe, come up with your, your sensibility, and come up off of that militia, that evil, that jealousy, that envy. Come up off them seven deadly sins. That's what this situation here is saying. I mean, when it comes to mayhem, you all up in it. That's your goal, to be habitical. Well, how you going to reach your goal if all you want to do is be, you know, habitical? No, nah, you got to come up out of that mayhem, right? And that's the only way you're going to reach your goal. Like I said, you are the one that's hindering your process, right? And it's the externals, right? You're an external to yourself. You have a lot of externals around you who have taught you how to be negative. So you are also an external to your own self, which is your internal, right? You're an external to your internal, right? You're hurting your own self by acting like those people who treat you bad, <laughs> who get on your nerves, right? You do the same thing to yourself, right? You turn right around and do the same thing. These people you can't stand, you do it right to yourself, right? You hate what they do to you, but then you do it to yourself. So you, my dear, internal, right? You're an external to your own internal, right? Crazy, isn't it? But, <laughs> yep, you did it. Um, Your spirit, like I said, is saying it's time to cool off. Your spirit is saying cool off, cool your jets, right? It's time to sit down. It's time to get yourself together. Why are you so in the red zone? Why are you all up in the red zone when you should be in the blue corner? Why are you in the red zone when you should be in the blue corner? Right. The blue corner is where you chill at, right? But you want to be in the red zone acting like a damn wild ass animal, right? That That's rabid. That has um, rabies. You want to you wanna be in the red zone acting like a rabid animal. Uh, uh, with rabies, right, acting like an animal with rabies, rather than chilling in the blue corner, right, with the spirit, right. So, to clarify, your life, your vibrations are too low, right, your vibrations are entirely too low, and you know it. That's why you want this read, right, that's why you want this read, because you want to be, you want me to clarify that, no, nah, you're still in low vibrations, and why are you asking? Because you just want to be annoying, right, you already know you're in low vibrations, and that nothing's going to change, right. And that's why you asking me. And now I just picked up my cards, but one was totally all the way upside down when I flipped over. And it wanted to be noticed, right? So, I mean, you lost and bound. What I just say, as far as mayhem go, that's your goal. So, what are you doing? You lost and you bound, right? You're keeping yourself lost and bound because of what? That mayhem that you're all up in, right? Right, you love that mayhem, and that's why you lost and bound in it. And you're definitely pessimistic, right? You're definitely pessimistic. Mm -mm. You're not seeing nothing good happening for you. So you don't want nothing good to happen for other people. When you don't see anything good coming into your life, you decide that I don't want anything good to go into anyone else's life. And that's exactly what you've been doing. So you hindered your own process by hating yourself. And then you now you hinder other people's processes or try to hinder other people's processes because you hate yourself and you don't want them to have anything so you secretly hate them and you want them to hate themselves as well right right and these are, if you know these people you secretly hate them if you don't know them right well then you just outright hate them but they don't know you so i mean right right you secretly hating them too right 
Unless you fall out, I hate you, right? I hate you, right? We know who that sound like, right? Anyway, now it's not. I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about a group of people. So, what you need to do is uh, take your cell phone, right? I'm just clarifying. You need to take your behind on somewhere and go find you another hobby. Go find something to do. Your hobby should be fixing your life, right? Right. That's the only way you'll ever get peace is to stop. This situation that you are currently in. Stop being a part of the situation that you are currently in. This red zone energy that you're in, just stop being in it. Right? Just abruptly stop. But you're not going to do it. Right? <laughs> this card says, no, nah, I'm leaving about these hate plays. I love my folly. I love my bullshit. I love my mayhem. I love this rabbit hole. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can you stop making so much noise? I pretend that I don't love this rabbit hole, but I really love this rabbit hole more than anything else in life. Right. So I don't want to be released out of it. I just like to tell people that I want help, and I only do that so that I can bring them down with me. Right. I'm an elephant in my own life, and I want to be an elephant in everyone else's life. Right. And elephants, what? You don't forget nothing. Right. So, um,. This is just saying that you enjoy truly this rabbit hole. You enjoy truly being the the hindrance in your own life. You truly enjoy being a hindrance in others' lives. You don't want nothing. You don't want nobody else to want nothing. And that's why I call you sludge. Right? That's exactly why I call you sludge. And you're never going nowhere. You're never going nowhere. And you know it. And you show it. And you don't want to. That's why you mess with people like me who are go-getters. Because that makes you feel like even more of a piece of shit because you know you could do better but you don't want to right you just lazy as i don't fucking know what you're a sloth right so you hate go-getters like myself because you're a sloth oh well and that is the end of that right there you go have a great one